So, I'm going to be teaching you, you, yes you, how to make a FNAF AI, like camera to camera, stage to stage. I'm also going to be teaching you how to make a door system, make a door power system so that it goes back when you turn the door on, and the jump scare animation for when you don't end up doing that. Always oh, CV1, so now let's get started. You're going to want a model of your animatronic. I'm going to leave timestamps in the description for so you know. So if you're stuck on one part, if you're trying to find out what part to do with this, you can just skip to that. Uh, you're going to get a model. You're going to get a model of your monster. I'm going to be using a rectangle, but you can make this whatever you want. It just has to be something you can manipulate. So now you're gonna get animation gizmos. You're gonna want however many animation gizmos for how many ever want however many stages you want your monster to go through before it reaches the door. And so for that door phase, it's gonna I'm gonna put three before stages and one door stage. So that it's four. It's four animation gizmos. <clears throat> then you want to get a state chip. Look like this. And you're going to put that. You're going to put however many state chips for however many animation gizmos you have. So, four state chips. And you want to get a state machine chip to turn it all on. Now we're not going to turn these on now because we need to do something else but we just want to have that ready. So now you want to connect your model to your animation gizmo. So to do that I'm going to con connect press this connect button in your menu connect that to this part of your animation gizmo. And you want to do that then you'll see object added to animation. Not saying that you've done it right. And if you do it again, it'll say object removed from animation. But you can just add it back. So you want to connect all your animation gizmos to your monster model. And now you want to edit your animation gizmo. And click on that. And then move it. Then move it to your stages. I'm going to be moving mine from left to right. More to left, more to the right with each stage. But you don't have to do that. You can move it all over the place if you want it. So now you have that. You're going to connect your... You want to connect your state machine chip to your, your state. Your first state. It should be white when you do that. Now you want to connect your state to all your other states, going like this. So now you should see it's just gone like that, to the last one. So now you want to connect this back to your first one. Now it should be going like that. Now before we connect it to your animation gizmos, you want to make sure you have them on a stop at end, or it's or it's going to be all bugged. So you want to turn that on, configure, put your animation gizmo, pull up it, and put stop at end on. I'm going to do that to all of it. And now, I'm going to click on enter. It's going to play your animation state. You know, do that for every one of your animation gizmos to your state machine chips, like like so. It should end up it should end up being somewhat like this. So now you're gonna configure again. This time, clicking on your state chi state chip, you're gonna go up to minimum time and state. I'll set the number to however many seconds you want it to stay in a state for. I'm gonna put it at two. So every two seconds, it's gonna go 
pulled toward one stage. I'm going to put the last one at one. I'm going to put the door one at one because that's important. We're going to need that's because we're going to do some more stuff to this. So now you have your animation stage, your stages. If you want this to be randomized, then I'm going to be going over that after the door phase so you can skip to that. If you want this to be more randomized, like like if you see if you want it to flip between step two and three, two, three, and one randomly, I'll have a tutorial for that after the door jump scare phase. But if you don't want to see that, just get a toggle button V1 parentheses legacy and a place that somewhere near your line of code. Next, you're gonna get a com Error chip. So spawn this in next to your toggle button. I'm gonna connect the trigger and toggle value to the top left chip left ships left side. That should be connected to your current current toggle value. You wanna configure the bottom one, the one directly under it, you want to click this specifically with your maker pen and set that to a value of 1. So, if you click, if now if you click the toggle button, it should say if red equals green, it's putting an output of 1 right now. Now you want to get another animation gizmo. This is going to be your jump scare. Turn that on and then connect it to here. So now if you want to now you want to put if red equals green, then it, then this I think you're gonna connect it to the one to the state machine going straight. You wanna connect it to the state chip that's going straight back to this. You wanna put it on this. I'm gonna put it on the activate chip in between the final and the first one. It should look something like this. If you turn this on, then it's going to go back to your first stage. And if we don't turn it on, it's going to stay in this for pretty much forever. Like so. But now, that's how you, that's how you get your door to work. If you want to connect it, if you want to connect your door, Mm. physics to an animation gizmo then you just connect and then you want to get a door model I'm not gonna be doing that I'm gonna be doing that so I'm just put a, put a larger rectangle connect that to an animation gizmo mm. Mm. and then current toggle value one gonna play the animation no not right not right now um so yeah if you have this on it's gonna do that so you can see where your door is now you want to get a timer chip that right there and you want to set this green one to however many seconds you want times 10 so two seconds I put 20 30 th three seconds I put 30 and so I'm gonna put through 30 for three seconds and you're gonna connect the in state of your last your last state to the on off of your timer so now it starts the timer, and but you're gonna put time expired ping, and then it plays this. It plays this animation. You can make your jump scare animation whatever you want. I'm just gonna move them to the right a little. So it's gonna be looping that after three seconds. 
And now you want to connect your current toggle value to the reset of the timer. So if the reset value is one, it's going to stop your jump scare animation. And when your jump scare animation is done, it's going to be, it's just not going to do anything until you, it's just going to keep repeating until you click the door button. But if you want it to stop automatically, you can just put, connect this done. To, you want to connect one of your state machine, do the last state machine chip to another one of your random chips. Connect, and then connect the done chip to the activate of that. So, when the animation is done, put that on stop and start again. It's going to send it to one of your previous stages. So there you go. You now have a working FNAF AI and door system. Door and jump scare system. So if now if you now if you want to make it random, if you want to get a random chip. And then you're gonna put a, a max of 20 and 0 random number from green to blue or whatever whatever you want and put it, it's going to put when It's going out, it's going to generate the signal, it's going to generate this first ship, it's going to generate a random number, between 1 from 20, 17, and we're going to put a comparer chip, <coughs> and we're going to configure this comparer chip, we'll put it on if greater than or equal to. We're gonna put that on whatever value you want your AI to be. I'm gonna put mine at three. So if it's greater than three, if red is greater no. If red is let no it's less than green. Okay, sorry. Flip that around. Red is greater than or equal to green, one, and it'll activate this. Yep. pretty much always going to move now it's always going to move to the next stage now and you just want to copy and paste this to your other stages but if you don't want it to always move Generate signal, boom, boom, bah. Okay, so now in state one, I'm putting it into this. Okay, so. I'm going to put this back at less than, it's less than or equal to, and then it moves. So 
So yeah, if less than or equal, if it's less than or equal to three, it's gonna move. So it's gonna be generating a random number for like infinity until until so. But if you want to do that, if you don't want to do that, you can put it on pulse. So it only does it on a certain interval. Okay. I'm just waiting for this. Yeah. It's gonna move. So that's how you make your AI, your randomized thing. If you want to make this greater than, you can just flip the sign. So it has to be greater than blue in order to activate it. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to put this back on continuous because it's just generating one every pretty much every time. So, yeah, now it's just, now it's going all, all through it until it reaches a number greater than three. Yeah, less than is if you want to have classic NASA LA. Boom. So there you go. Now you have your randomized time for your FNAF AI and when it moves. So it's pretty much only going to move if it equals the AI value that you set it to from what I'm seeing right here. No, it, it's not. Okay. So one still counts. It's just below, equal to or below. There you go. Now you have it. That's going to be the entire tutorial where you CV on and off. AI and see you around. Yeah.